Hi, I'm Craig Jones, President and CEO of Performance Epoxy Coat. I entered the floor coating industry in 1981. My goal is to provide our customers with an exceptional value, easy to use, durable, do-it-yourself, professional grade coating kits. My number one goal has always been honest customer satisfaction. We know that you have many choices when selecting a floor coating, and we thank you for purchasing our epoxy coating kit. We are certain you are going to enjoy your new high performance epoxy coat floor. If you recently purchased our epoxy coating kits, the following video will walk you through the installation process. Further instructions are available online. Deck coat covers up to 250 square feet and can be used on wood, concrete, composites, and asphalt surfaces. Deck coat is over 25 times thicker than standard deck coatings and stains, and it is resistant to yellowing, chemicals, and will not peel, with the wear resistance 40 times that of a stain. Our kit comes with a five-year warranty and is easy to maintain. Please do not consume this product and keep out of reach of children. Wear rubber gloves and safety glasses when mixing, preparing, and applying deck coat. If any of the products comes in contact with eyes or skin, flush with cold water for 15 minutes. Your deck coat kit should include the following. Written instructions, safety gloves, large mixing bucket, acid cleaning granules for concrete decks, performance epoxy part A resin, performance epoxy part B activator, hardener, mechanical mixing tool, wooden stirrer, two brushes, two rollers, 80 pounds of performance chips, spike shoes, performance poly 200, roller bucket screen. You will also need nine inch roller frame, roller pan, extension pole, and a high speed drill. If you are covering a concrete surface, we recommend testing your floor for previous sealants and moisture. If a previous sealant exists, it may need to be removed before your application. Learn more at deck-coat.com. Now, let's get started. Step one. Clean out items, sweep and or power wash the entire surface until clean and free of any debris, contaminants or previous poorly bonded coating. If you're coating a trailer with a ramp, you want to level out your ramp door. Let the area dry fully before coating. You could use a power blower to help evaporate the remaining water. Once dry, if there are still any contaminants, repeat the process. If you are coating a wooden deck, any unsound wood should be removed. Holes or weak wood bigger than one-fourth in area can be patched with Epoxy Coat EPK-1000 Patch Kit and can be purchased from our website. For smaller cracks, use Epoxy Coat Acrylic Latex Calm. Step 2. Open the kit and lay out all necessary tools. Rinse and dry the mixing bucket that contained the kit contents. Install the supplied mixing tool into a high-speed drill. Lay out protective plastic where you will be mixing not on the deck coating surface. Step three, mix part A of Performance Epoxy Coat in its original bucket for two minutes. Then pour all of the part B, the activator hardener, into the cleaned mixing bucket. In the same bucket, pour all of the pre-mixed Performance Epoxy Coat A resin. Mix thoroughly with the mixing tool for three minutes, be sure to mix all around the bucket sides and raise and lower the mixing tool within the mixture. Step 4. Immediately pour the contents into a deep roller pan or dip your roller into the bucket directly using the supplied roller bucket screen. Start in the farthest corner using the supplied kit, brush and cut in where necessary. A 1.5 gallon bat should cover a 12 by 10 foot section. Be sure to back roll the area rolling the opposite direction 10 minutes after the first application. Also, keep in mind if you are using a roller pan, you will only have approximately 40 minutes to apply the coating. Add the performance chips by throwing the chips into the wet coating. Add the chips after the deck area looks satisfactory, because once you lay the chips on the deck, you will not be able to roll the area again. The performance chips should be added until there are no wet spots and evenly covered. Step 5. Once you have finished covering the desired area, wait 12 hours. Step 6. Remove any stray chips from the area by sweeping or vacuuming. When working with 
Poly 200, the ideal temperature range is 40 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmer temps will speed up the curing process and cooler temps will slow down the process and extend working time. Keep in mind humidity above 80% will affect the coating and may cause varied color. Avoid direct sunlight when applying. It's best to apply in the evening hours. Step 7. Pour the Clear Performance Poly 200 in a deep roller pan or black bucket using the supplied roller bucket screen. Make sure to remove excess. Start in the farthest corner using the kit brush and cut in where necessary, in an even coat. A half gallon of Poly 200 should cover a 12 by 10 foot section. Roll back and forth until even. The more you back roll, the more even the clear coat will be. When you dip in the roller cover and start applying, you should be able to cover about a 4x4 square. Roll in that area until even before moving to the next area. Be sure to back roll and spread the poly as thin as possible. The more you roll, the more even the appearance. If you have any small areas that are bare and without chips, you can apply some Poly 200 to the bare spots with a small brush, and then take some leftover performance chips to touch up any minor areas. If you have any questions during your application, call our technical support. If you would like to purchase additional supplies, visit our website at deck-coat.com. We thank you for choosing Deck Coat and hope you will enjoy your high performance coding.